So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I got the GGD Slammers Powerball Drum Triggers Pack into Cubase using Slate Trigger uh, 2. And actually, I got this idea from Adam Getgood, who he demonstrated the release of the GGD Slammers. And in Logic, he had two separate tracks, one for the kick, one for the snare, and who were actually listening to the One Kid Wonder Fusion VST. Each track, one track was listening to the kick and the other track was listening to the snare, referencing actually. So I wanted to uh, find out how I could do that, the same referencing in Cubase. There was another case actually I could, I could uh, load a sampler track and assign a MIDI track into the sampler track and paste the kick, all the kicks there and then another sampler track, paste all the snares there. And then whatever change I do to my main event, I would have to finally copy the final part of the kicks, the final part of the snares to follow the main VST, One Kid Wonder Modern Fusion drum event. So actually, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do uh, a similar thing, what he did, which is referencing. So automatically, automatically, whatever change I do to the main MIDI event, my drum kit MIDI parts, I wanted to have two separate tracks to listen to whatever I do. And whatever I do, being replicated immediately with a blending of the slammer's kick, slammer's snare, together with the modern fusion kick, modern fusion snare. So all blending together. So actually what I did was uh, I made here uh, one group bus for the kick, one group bus for the snare, and I'm sending these. Uh, this is the kick sum. I'm sending this to a drum bus here. So, and the drum bus goes to, goes to the master. So I will assign these tracks, the kick triggers and the snare triggers to its group, uh, to their respective group buses. So um, actually what I did was I loaded two audio tracks. Uh, let's see, stereo in two, no, let's do it. But, uh, so I'm gonna put that, one for the kick, and that would be kick triggers. And then I will duplicate that and I will route it to the snare sum track, which is a group track. So, and then we'll name this snare. Okay, so now in each of these tracks, I will load uh, an instance of trigger to right kick. Let's add, an, add some uh, kicks, whatever. Like uh, hyper scoop and some room. Whatever, I'm just adding random things now. Um, and then that's for the kick. And then I will add this for the snare. Oops. Okay. So, and then let's put some snares, snare triggers, samples. So let's say we'll put one close, low zone, okay. And then we'll put one room, and then let's put a tight squink, just for fun, okay. So, okay, now um, I want this track, each of these tracks to listen to what I'm doing here in my main event. If you listen to my main event, it's uh, going like this. is the modern fusion uh, right so I will blend uh, the samples that we just loaded to trigger two I will blend with these ones so what I found out actually uh, is I went to my main MIDI event, and you see in the MIDI sense here, if you go to 
track will be like this. So if you go to MIDI Sense, first you activate one cent and then another cent. And then the first one, as you can see here, there are snare triggers and kick triggers. So uh, first one I will assign to the kick triggers and the second one I will assign to the snare triggers. So now whatever I play, so now whatever I play, it immediately will be triggered to the uh, kick and the snare separately. Here, I close those. And I open, activate this. They activate the, they listen to the main event. So for example, if I go to Modern Fusion and uh, let's add uh, another groove. Take Richardson and let's go close to 120. Let's put this in. Right. So So, and I play this. Whatever the main event plays, kick, the snare triggers, slammer triggers, I'm listening to it. Oh. So that's off. sounds bad I know but I just dragged some random samples so that's it this is how I load GGD slummers powerball pack into slate trigger 2 into Cubase to being triggered by the main drum event I hope that was helpful to you and that's all for now see you next time <laughs>